Hi there and welcome to part two. In this video we're going to have a look at the water supply to the caravan of course and also have a look at the self-containment. This will be an overview of it, not how necessarily to do it, just the finished product and what to expect if you want to start the job and do it yourself. It is so simple. Then we're going to have a look at a very simple fix for refrigerators. Not everybody knows this and it can cause some problems when you're ready to go away and you have to clean the fridge. This will certainly be a help to some. Then finally we'll have a look at the bedding. How we set up to uh, spend a night in the caravan. Not necessarily as said before how you will do it. It's just how we have chosen to do it and uh, it makes it look fairly simple. Okay, let's get on with it. These first two pictures show the top and the bottom of the tank with a weird little knob there which is for attaching the hoop which goes on either end and that means you can tow it along behind you from the tap to the van. Then you will see the, uh, to where, the, where you attach the water inlet tube to and then the finished item. When you're parking the caravan and you're going to leave it for some time, off power, etc. I use my level, which is, I use that for leveling the caravan. Open the fridge door, just wedge the door open with my foot. Pull that freezer box down a little bit. Wedge that level into the uh, thing so it keeps the door open and then you'll find that that door doesn't shut either so you have solved the problem of getting mold into a damp refrigerator it will dry out a lot better for you what will my caravan carry well it's simple on the side of the van you'll see a sign like that you take the mtplm away from the mro or the opposite way around in actual fact sorry and you'll find out 184 kilograms for my caravan is the carrying weight. 
On the side wall of your tyres, you can find the maximum pressure and the maximum weight that they will carry. Don't forget the spare, please. Underneath the van, there is an Alco rack in a lot of the caravans, and this must be tried out when you're at home. Take the spare wheel out, check the pressures, put it back again to show how easy it is to do on the side of the road. I personally weigh the tow bar of my caravan, um, the weight that's going to go onto the tow ball at 75 kilograms and that's how it's done and this stops the car from porpoising and uh, it makes it a lot more comfortable drive. We tend to store most of our food and so on in the car which then gets transferred when we arrive on site. So we're not carrying too much extra weight in the caravan. Thank you very much indeed for watching this uh, little session that we've had. Hope you've gained something from it. If not, you may be able to tell other people when the questions arise uh, wherever you are. I find talking to people on camping grounds um, a very interesting sometimes. I've seen even uh, a, a, an older chappie who had a caravan, an English caravan, and he was using a, a normal 50 millimeter low rise ball. He didn't quite realize that if he went over a big hump that the Alco hitch could hit the tow bar and just force it off the tow ball altogether. His first port of call was a caravan shop on the way home. It's always nice to know that you've helped somebody and I'm hoping that I'm helping you. Next time we're going to look at television problems and a sound problem that seems to plague a lot of people and may save you moving up to a larger television. Then we're going to have a look at motor movers and their effect on caravans and how they work and how simple they are to operate and we'll possibly have a look at the awning as well to uh, let you know the varying types of awnings that there are out there. So for now safe travels please drive carefully wherever you are. Bye for now.